Christmas bells are a staple of the holiday season, but one Utah County Bell Group is hoping to have Provo hearing bells all year long. Since 1993, the Utah Valley handbell ringers have used their unique musical style and 56 aluminum and bronze bells to delight audiences nationwide. I came to Utah, I moved to Utah 17 years ago, and I found a church that had bells, but nobody was ringing them. So I said, gee, can I be your director? They said, sure. My husband and I, we got our own set of bells and started my own choir. Wow. And it started with three, three octaves. I bought the bells, I bought the music, I bought everything. So it really was a labor of love. And now it's been self-supporting for about the last eight years. There are many of us that have been together for a very long time. There's Linda that's been in the choir the longest, has been there for 10 years. Um, so they're pretty much when you, when you become part of the choir, you become family. And it's just great to be able to get together every week and to play with each other and be and enjoy each other's company. They just have to be committed. And once they get a taste of this audience, like we had tonight, this was massive. This was massive tonight. Um, they really get hooked. People get hooked on the feedback from people. It's amazing. It's pretty much when we have openings, we welcome people as long as you can read music and know music and we teach them how to play. It's challenging though and I definitely like it. I like the challenge because I've been in the choir for a long time so I'm definitely used to it. I like being challenged and it's really fun being able to play lots of different bells. And... the only handbell choir for this entire county. There have been times when we've gone down to like Disneyland and we've played at Disneyland, but for the most part, we stay around Utah. We've gone up and played at the Cathedral of the Madeline. We've gone all the way down to Cedar City and St. George and played down there. And we've gone all the way out to Tooele. So we play pretty much anywhere um, that they ask us. The unfortunate thing is we are, we are somewhat limited in our venues. We can't play outside unless we're covered. Uh, it can't be too cold. Uh, the bells will get brittle. So we do, but we are perfect for so, some venues. And it would just be nice if Provo could use us and say, hey, we're having a function. You guys want to come down and, and be part of it? And for the most part, uh, a lot of the stuff we do is free, believe it or not. We really do it. We do it for the love of the, of the instrument. When we do a private thing, we, we charge. But that's how we support ourselves. All that money goes back for either music or maintenance of the bells. It's a passion, and, and what I tell people is, what is your passion in your life? This is my passion. Because we represent the community. We're made of many different people, many different faiths. And I'd like to think that's what uh, Utah is. like the Utah Valley handbell ringers to perform for you or for more information about the group, visit www.utahbells.com.